What's going on my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. And right off the bat, oh look at this. Uh, some roads. Oh look at this. Some Roman roads. Um, yeah. I put some roads down. Obviously. Now, uh, first things first. I tweeted this out. Don't know if you guys... Let me turn down my volume here. I got a buzz when I turned my volume way high, so try and keep that down. Um, I put on my uh, Twitter that that um, sorry excuse for a domus is gonna come down today and you might be asking yourself well Jay what does that mean coming down well we got some flint here oh nope I already have some we're uh, we're gonna take care of this and I think it's gonna be nice because this house is mostly made out of wood ow Just gotta be careful because there's a big hole right there. Um, this house has been a nuisance, and it's much, much too large uh, for what I want to end up going with, and it's in the way. And we're gonna go inside and light the floor on fire, and some of the inner walls. My cat just walked in on me, and uh, that should take care of it. Okay. Now that we. Uh, fulfilled the arson in us. Let's uh, take a good look. Let me shut the door. Ah, quiet. Ah, uh, beautiful. Take a nice screenshot of that. Ah, <sighs> so good. Okay, so um, as you guys can see, did some work on the roads here. Um, I added these little house, this little house shed type looking thing uh, because I want to get used to having a few of these smaller sized little, not really housing pieces, but just things. Um, I looked up online, there are only a few types of housing. Uh, there's the insula, which is the apartment housing, uh, which could be anywhere from one story housing I suppose to eight stories so eight levels of housing um, and then we have the domos which is this right here and then more towards the country you have things like villas so really what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to stick to domas and domuses and apartments which I don't necessarily like I am more of the type I like to have a few smaller housing uh, things like this. So I think we're going to do a little bit of poetic license and uh, we're going to go with some domuses, but we're also going to go with some of these smaller domuses uh, and smaller little apartments to kind of make things a little nicer. Burn! Come on! Really? We're going to have to take care of that issue today. Let's get some iron. Uh, so, unfortunately, something very sad is happening. Um, Walking Dead is almost over for the season. And I'm very sad because I love The Walking Dead. And I know some of you guys watch The Walking Dead as well. I just hit my mic. I apologize. Um, but I've been really... I don't know... I, I'm missing it already, and there's still an episode left to go. Um, I I don't want to spoil it at all for any of you guys that haven't been caught up, but ugh, I just uh oh. Whew. Okay, we're good. Um, I just really want to be able to have it like 24/7. It's crazy, but it's the way I want it, you know. Oh yeah, we'll light this sucker on fire now. Get burned! Yeah. There we go. Ow! Apparently stairs don't light on fire. I think we talked about this before. Oh well. All the more reason you have to use half slabs. Alright. 
get this all done. Ow! Well, now we're on fire. I think we've got water over here. Beautiful. There we go. And there we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to work on, uh, not today, obviously, I'm just kind of sort of touching base with you guys today, uh, is I wanted to start working on a on the terrain for our evil area. And now, the, we're doing the Roman Empire as well as what I'm calling the uh, evil empire. And uh, we're going to need to pop over to the desert area, which really isn't that far. It's like right up here. And I'm going to explain to you guys how we're going to do this, um, which is going to require a lot of wool, like tremendous amount of wool. Um, so it's going to take a long time. However, the difference between this area and all the others is this is going to be one area. It's one big city, um, really not even a city one big area and um unlike where you have these towns kind of split up and, and scattered abroad uh, this is going to just encompass one area but it's going to be cool because i think when it's done we're going to have some of the most epic looking uh, buildings in there and basically what i'm going to go for is a more sinister looking um, ice spikes area but instead of ice spikes, I want to go with obsidian towers. Now, uh, here's how it's going to work. So, obviously, desert right here. Um, we're going to start off by turning the terrain into netherrack. And a uh, pretty simple way we're going to do it. We're going to take a location like this. And we're going to go, okay, well, let's start off right here. And we're going to shave off the top and uh, make the, the cross again. That would have been right there. Uh, for here, we're going to shave off this area and start to put things under that as well. Um, now, very tedious. Probably not something I'm going to do on camera. Probably something I'm going to show you guys. But um, it is going to take up a lot of time, so it's going to take a while to get that sort of prepped. Uh, what I want to do uh, right off the bat is just get the in, a general area sort of filled in and uh, go from there. One of the things I wish I should could have done, could have done, jeez, um, is I wish I could kind of see what's under there. But one thing I can do, quiet, quiet. I'm not hitting him. Don't worry. I'm just telling him to be quiet. Um, one of the cool things about this, though, that I can show you once I'm done eating, jeez, is if we dig below, we eventually get to, um. The third layer, which I believe <laughs> is subject to, yep, as you can see. So one of the things that we could possibly do is just cut down to this area, the sandstone, and then layer on top of the sandstone, um, the nether rack, which I think might be a better course of action. I'm just getting sand because I actually need sandstone for the Roman build, which works out perfect. Now, why do we need all the black wool? Because the sky is going to be covered in the black wool. And uh, I think it might be a little bit difficult to start get started on it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build um, bellowing clouds, and uh, I've got to work it out in... Uh, creative but I think it'll work out pretty well um, my cat's playing with a toy <sighs> he's more entertaining than me Jeez, um, yeah so and then we'll have this in the background it's kinda cool uh, what I want to do is I want to have a lot of fires going on the inside and um, like I said this is a pretty big desert and um, we're going to take it one step at a time, guys. Don't don't go around thinking... Oh, he's back at it again. Uh, don't go around thinking that I'm just going to like do this in a night. Uh, we're going to take it area by area. Do those little obsidian spikes. And um, a lot of the area is going to be made out of pretty tall towers of um, nether brick. 
which means a lot of netherrack, which means a lot of coal, so make the netherrack into nether brick, and taking down an entire fortress to use that nether brick. Hopefully, that will be enough, but I feel like it won't be. And, um, uh, you know, Averto <laughs> contacted me a little while ago, like, I think it was last week. He's like, are you sure you're up to the task of doing this? And I'm like, yep. This is a project that I want to do because no one else has ever done it. And uh, we're going to do it. We are going to get it done. Um, kind of a short episode, of course. The one egg that I throw always gives out a chicken. We could have used that chicken. Um, kind of a short episode, I think, today. But uh, definitely not one that is useless. Uh, I just wanted to get some plans out to you guys. wanted to burn that freaking crappy domus so now we can just sort of fill in the hole and uh, start on a little bit of housing so um, I want to work on no apartments for this village I just want to put in a few domuses and uh, maybe a villa out in the country a little bit and uh, then I want to do on the inside near the forum I want to have a lot of um, public buildings so we'll build a shrine hopefully next episode uh, made out of timber um, and then as we progress, ugh, much better, <laughs> as we progress, we'll uh, work on doing a few other uh, buildings around in that area, like a marketplace and, and all that stuff. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy mining and crafting.